And good afternoon again, and I'm going to share my screen. But before sharing my screen, Ibrahim, close the camera. Now, Muhammad Fuad, what's your question? The quiz today. What? We will have a quiz today. No, miss. Again, and some of you, they said that they couldn't make it. Okay, thank you. The quiz today, it will be due Sunday. Okay? But you will have a homework. Teacher, do you what? Yeah, yeah, Masa. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Teacher, the quiz will be on Sunday? Yeah, it will be on Sunday. Okay. Uh, now, Khawaja, what's your question? Teacher, I just, uh, just want to tell you... Sarhani, close the camera. One minute, yeah, Khawaja. Sarhani, close the camera. Yes, Khawaja. I just, w I just wanted to tell you that I submitted all the homeworks like before three minutes, four minutes. Okay, thank you for this. You're welcome. Kareem, what's your question? Kareem, what's your question? Okay, Kareem, you cannot uh, speak, so I'm going to open the chat. So please do not talk, do not write on the chat. I want to read Kareem a question. So Kareem, you can write your question right now. Julie, what's your question? Yes, yeah, Julie, what's your question? Uh, it's about lesson 15.2's homework. Uh, Julie, you can talk in this uh, about this in the group, not here. So I'm not going to listen to the question now. If you want to tell me about that, you submit the homework, do not, please lower your hand. If you want to talk about the homework, lower your hand. I'm not going to talk about the homework right now. I want to start with my lesson. Let's hear Qais. Yes, yeah, Qais. Okay, he lowered his hand. What do you want, Yamasa? Um, are you going to take the attendance? Yes, Masa, I will take the attendance. Even though I said I'm not going to take it, but I'm going to take it now. Jad, what's your question? Oh, uh, Michelle, we're going to do the course book, and the course book will be a part of the homework. No, we're going to do the course book, but once we're done with the explanation, I will tell you, for the ones that they want to leave, they can leave, and the ones that they want to continue with me, the course book, they can stay. Oh, okay. okay. Where is your question? Ya Kareem. Tulkum ma tuktubu ya mas bidi. Bas akhra su'al Kareem sa'al kul katib. Okay, uh, Musa, um, we're going to send the link for this video, so no worries. You can write right now your attendance that you're here. Karim, I can't find your question. If I find it later on, I will uh, explain it. I will answer it for you. Now let's start from where we stopped last time. And we start in, uh, explaining the two operation. And we're done with the first question and the second one, but we couldn't finish the rest of them. Okay. For right now, these were the questions. We said that the first one would be x plus 5. We said that the second one will be x plus 9. Then I multiply it by 10. Now, the third one, uh, like Khawaja, he tried to answer it, but he got it wrong. And what I explain in the third one that the word times will indicate that you have two numbers, the first number times the second number, which means let's go back here. Mohamed 
مش هيك كل مرة يعني تصير Okay, so I'm going to keep it like this. I'm not going to do the slideshow. Now, let's start. The word times itself, the first number is seven. And the second number will be this, whatever the value of it. And between them, you're going to have the times operation. So the first number is seven times. Now, times what? You're not multiplying a one number. You're multiplying a combination of two numbers. He's telling you the sum of a number and a three, which means here you should write x plus three. So I'm going to multiply seven by all of this. But logically speaking right now, which one of them you're going to do it first? Will you add the x plus three? Then the answer multiplied by seven or multiply seven by x? Who can answer? Raise your hand. Yes, yeah, Hassan. Yes, teacher. Logically speaking, what will you do? Uh, we have seven times x plus three. Seven times x plus three. You mean, Yani, we're going to uh, multiply seven by x, or I should put this x and the three between the brackets? X and three between brackets. Uh -huh, but teacher, excellent job. Why, I have a question. Uh, what's your question? Why did we put it in brackets? But in all, yani, in all the situation, we will start with the seven because it's times. Yes, miss. The first operation that it's appear for you that it's times. Yes. But when I say I want not to write a number, I'm going to give you the number. Let's say that this number that I'm saying the sum of a number and three, it's actually, let's put a box above it and say that this one is actually 10, okay? So okay. when I say seven times the sum of 10 and three, what's the sum of 10 and three, Hassan? 13. So I want to do seven times 13? Yes. So what's seven times 13? Let's use a calculator if you want. Seven times 13, it is uh, 91. 91. 91. Thank you very much. So the answer should be 91. Let's keep this in our mind. If yes. I didn't put the brackets here, Hassan. Yes. And this is not only for Hassan. I know all of you, you do have this uh, misconception. If I did the following, seven times X plus three, and I mentioned mm. that this is not X anymore, I put a value for it. According to the order of operation, what should you do first? Seven Has times ten. First? Seven times ten. Which is? Seventy. Plus three? Seventy-three. Is it the same as ninety-one? No. Why is it not the same? Because in the without first one, we, what should you without do? With seven times ten. Oh, yeah, you need to start with the multiplication. Yes. But actually, the first operation, even if it looks like multiplication, it was actually the addition. Then he, when he say seven times the sum, you need to know what's this sum. Shouldn't you know what's the sum? Yeah. Yes. So this sum. The sum is four, ten, and three. In order uh -huh. for you not to get confused, I need you to put all of these in your mind while you're dealing with translation. Whenever you see the word sum, right away, open the brackets. I'm going to clear all of the drawing. Right away, open the brackets like this. In the word sum, after the word sum itself, open the brackets until the sentence finish. My sentence finish here. Once you open the brackets, put underline a line under the word and. And now we're going to know what's inside the brackets of the word sum. 
it's x and plus three. Always do that whenever you find the word sum. And you will know that you should actually multiply. Again, remember, in the multiplication only, we do not prefer to write the multiplication sign. So what did I do here? I wrote seven between the brackets, x plus three. Why I'm allowed to do that? Because the operation is multiplication, okay? Now let's move to the next question, four and five. Then I will hear your question. The sum of a number right away after the word sum, I will open brackets till the sentence is finished of a number and four, here it's finished. Then he's told, he said is. Is means the starting of a new operation. So you're going to close the brackets right here. Number and four, that means it's X plus four. Is, what I'm doing with it? Divided by how much? By 17. Now write, so this is x plus 4 between the brackets because I do have them from the word sum. And then I would say divide by 17. But remember, division means it's a fraction. So it should be actually x plus 4 between the brackets divided by 17. But if you notice, I didn't put the brackets in the next one. Why is that? If you remember from lesson 3.8 the estimation, what did I used to say? You always do what's in, in the numerator first, whatever the calculation. You do all of the calculations that are in the denominator. Then you do the division. The division. So there is actually a hidden brackets here. So whether you want to keep the brackets or take them off, it's totally fine. Let's move to the last one. Eight divided by the sum, open brackets, of a number and six close it, which means number plus six. So X plus six. Now, what did he say? Eight is divided by them. So what did I wrote? Eight divided by this, which means eight over X plus six. Where do you need to put the brackets? If you find the word sum or you find the word difference, sorry, uh, subtract or subtract from. Remember, in these two operations, you need to put the brackets. In the multiplication and the division, you don't need to do that. Now, let me hear your question before I move to the next slide. Hassan, I will lower your hand. If you have another question, raise it again. Martaz, what's your question? Um, uh, in the uh, last question, why did we put x plus 6 um, as the de denominator? Because when we say divide by a division, it has the dividend, which is the first number, and the divisor, which is the second number. And when you actually write it, divided by seven. As a fraction, we write it like this, eight over seven. Isn't that right, Yamartas? Right. Okay, so the same goes here. Eight, I'm dividing by a certain number. I still don't know what's the value of it. So what will I do? Eight over x plus six, the value of this, va uh, of this uh, expression, okay? Okay. Yes, ya Kareem. Inshallah, the mic you can share with us. Kareem, Kareem, sir, can you talk? Okay, write your question in the chat. I will check it after I'm done with the others. Zayed, Zayed, the mic is on. Okay, Zaid, the same goes for you. Write your question in the chat. And do not tell me or write for me. I don't get, get anything from what you're saying. Hassan, what's your question? 
No, nothing, nothing, teacher, sorry. Oh, yeah, to mute yourself. Uh, Noor al uh, Teacher, yes. I didn't mm. understand this slide. This slide? Yes. Which part of it you don't understand? Uh, uh, why we can't put the, uh, the brackets uh, on the multiplication and division? Mm -hmm. But we can't put it on the subtraction and the addition. Because, Noor, if I give you like this a question, 8 plus 6 times 3, what will you do first according to the order of operation? 8 times 6, uh, 8 plus 6. No. According to the order of operation, Yanur, we were the multiplication comes first. So you should do six times three. But if I want you to do the addition first, can you do it because, uh, using the order of operation? No. So Except when we put brackets. Uh -huh, that's why we put the brackets, to make it stronger. Yes. Once you put the brackets here, it will be eight plus six first. But if I want to do the multiplication, the first operation, whether I put the brackets or not, I will still do it the first. Yani right now, if I told you do it without the brackets, what will you do first? Um, six times three, right? Yeah. And if I put the brackets, Will you still do six times three first? Yeah. So it doesn't matter? No. With them and without them, I'm still doing six times three. But yeah. when does it matter? If what you want to do first is addition, because the addition is actually weaker. Without the brackets, you're not going to do it first. Is it clear now? Yes. OK. The other examples, it will be much more clearer. Now, uh, Omar, what's your question? Teacher, Yani, it's better to write the division as a fraction? Uh, yes, and you need to be familiar with this way. You know, most likely, we write it in this way. OK, thank you. Welcome. Uh, Abdul Karim, what's your question? Teacher, I came now. I came now. You came now? Okay, Abdul Karim. Uh, we're going to have extra examples. You're going to look at the extra example because I can't repeat this. And hear the video from the beginning. Okay. Okay. Rayan, what's your question? Teacher? Yes. Rayan, you can speak. Oh. Um, in the division, should we write it as a fraction or is it okay to not write it as a fraction? Hello, is it okay? It's fine to write it uh, as a division sign, but uh, some of the questions in the book, they are written as a fraction. So and you need to know why did they write it like this. That's why you should be able to know both uh, terms. Okay? okay? And when we write it as a fraction, we shouldn't put the... Quotation. Uh, yes, we do not put the parentheses. No. Okay. Uh, Karim is saying he does not understand the question four. What, what's uh, the meaning of the word Samya Zayed? Some I explained it in the first lesson on Sunday. Some means to add. Well, I'm keep telling it what's the meaning of it. You just need to add. Some means add two numbers. It's the answer for addition. Question four, Ya Karim. The sum of a number and four is divided by. Once you see the word the sum, after it put a brackets like I did. I'm going to clear everything to do it again. Here is the word sum. Where does this sentence end? It ends after, before the word is. Because is is another command, is another operation that you should do it. It's not an operation inside an operation. So here you're going to close the sum. What did they say of a number and four? 
So a number, I'm going to represent it with x, plus 4. زائد انت عم تسمعني ولا لا لما انا عم بحكي كل مرة the sum, a number plus, a number plus. It means to add. Plus 4. Now what did he say? Is divided, that means we have a division sign. By which number? By 17. And because these are between the brackets, you keep them between the brackets. That's all. Hope it's clear for you. If it's not clear, watch the, watch the video again. I'm not going to explain it one more time. We spent 23 minutes on this, by the way. Now let's move to the next slide. In the next slide, add 7 and x. Then multiply by 4. What did he say? So the first operation that he's asking you to do is to actually do what? Add 7 and x. Then what should I do? Multiply by 4. So x and 7, should I put them between parentheses? Can any one of you answer? Anyone other than? Hey, Muhammad Mansour, Mumtaz. Khawaja. Uh, yes. What's the question again? Should I put uh, the seven and X between the brackets? Yes. Yes. And then after that, should I? What should I do? Uh, you have to put times four. Times four. Now, why should I put the X and the seven uh, between the brackets? Uh, because you want you want them to be stronger, or you want to start with them. Excellent job. So I want to start with them getting their answer. Then I will multiply the answer by four. So this is how we write it as written here. And because it's multiplication, it doesn't matter the order. So you can actually write like this. Four times seven plus X. And because it's multiplication, you don't need to write the multiplication sign. So it will be four between the brackets, x plus seven. Let's move to the next one. Now the answers are in front of you, but even though, add seven and x, then divide by four. Uh, Rimas. Yes, teacher. Should I put the x and the seven between the brackets? Yes. And then what will I do with it? Divide by four. Can I write this one as a fraction? Yes. What's the numerator? Add seven and there, yeah, x. Which means x plus seven. And what's the denominator? The denominator, Rimas, what would it be? Four. Four. Thank you. So, here, it will be x plus 7 first. Why did I put it between the brackets? Because he mentioned I should add them. After adding them, he said then divide the answer by 4, which means the division will be the second operation. So x plus 7 or 7 plus x divided by 4, or as a fraction, we can write it like this. Now multiply x by 3 and add 15. Now, here I don't have the word sum, and I don't have the word, so I don't need to do the addition first. So what will I start with the same order that they wrote them? Multiply x by three, so this will be what? Three x. And add 15, so plus 15. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. The last one, divide x by 4, which means x over 4, and add 7 plus 7. What's the difference between a to 9 and 6 to 7? And 8 and 9, he didn't use the word then, which means the first operation would be what he wrote, multiply. The second operation will be add. So what you should be doing at first is multiplying. 
So with and without the brackets, I will still do the multiplication. Here, with and without the brackets, I will still do the division. That's why here I didn't put the brackets. But in six and seven, what should I do first is the addition. So that's why I need to put the brackets. Now let's hear your question. I will lower all of your hands first. Once I'm done lowering, please lower your hands. Lower your hands. Now, if you have a question, raise your hand. Yes, Yara Yan. Kareem, write your hand, write your question. I will look at it. Abdel Kareem, what's your question? Uh, 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 will we do the quiz uh, now in this class? No, we're not going to do it in this class because not all of you are here. Okay? And I'm not going to talk about the quiz anymore. Jad, what's your question? Uh, Miss Hala, uh, uh, nine, yani, lay ma hatena fiha brackets. Ashan bas add, add ma hat fiha bracket. No, the first operation, shukanat. The first? The first uh, operation. Divide. And in the division, with and without the brackets, will you still do the division first? Uh, Yani if I wrote x plus divide by four without the brackets, what will you do first, the division or the addition? Uh, okay, x divide by four. Uh huh. If I put uh. the brackets, still, what will you do first? Uh, x divide by four by uh, then. So with and without them, I will still do the division first. Uh, okay. Because no, the first just... operation was actually dividing. But in six and seven, the first operation was actually adding. So in order to make it first, you need to put the brackets. Uh, and I forgot in uh, uh, x plus seven more. No, divide. Campbell Owl. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's your question? Teacher, in eight and nine, if we flip, the, flip them, uh, will we get to the same answer? What do you mean flip? Flipping what? Uh, the... If, we, if it was uh, add uh, the sign, like... Yeah, and if I wrote 7, you mean plus x over 4, like this? Yes. No, totally correct. Because this is, uh, what's fair, is a number, and this is another number. And addition is commutative, so you can switch order. So it's totally correct. Excellent question, what's fair? Uh, Rayan, what's your question? Teacher? Yes. If uh, question nine was uh, x uh, plus four, uh, uh, x uh, plus four, then uh, multiply. Yes, Ms. Watiha, you need to put them between the brackets. brackets. Yes, you should. Even if they didn't, uh, even if they didn't say uh, the sum of that or add that by that. No, even if they wrote it first, you need to put okay. them between the brackets. Okay. Yes, Yaqais, what's your question? Teacher, teacher, yes. in question eight, uh, why we, why we write, why you wrote? Uh, uh, 3x, why not uh, 3 multiplied by x or x multiplied by 3? Because we agree previously that in the multiplication we're not going to use the sign. Okay? So if I don't want to use the sign, I should always start with the number. You cannot write x3 because it could have more than one meaning. So we said that x3 is not allowed to be written. So what will I write? 3x. 3x. And if you don't want, if you want to write the multiplication sign, it's totally fine. But from for me, you're not going to see that I'm writing the multiplication sign when I'm dealing with multiplication. Okay? So you need okay. to understand what I wrote. Okay, thanks. Welcome. Zaid, write your question on the chat. I will check it now. Now I will open the chat to see Karim and Zayed.
You can speak, ya Kareem. Okay, raise your hand now. What do you want, Yani? First, should I answer your question or what? Do not write for me in the chat. Can I ask a, answer a question or not? You can talk? Okay. I'm going to unmute you, Yazid. Zayed. What's your question, Zayed? No, teacher, uh, I don't have a question, but I want to tell you that I left because my laptop has no charge. Okay, so you, you're now from where? From the phone? Yes, yes. Okay. So you can speak now. Kareem, what's your question? Kareem Abdair. I'm going to mute you. You told me that. Now let's move to the next slide then. In this slide, if you noticed that in both slides that I uh, gave it to you previously, they were all addition. What about the subtraction? These two slides will be about subtraction. Once I'm done with them, you can leave. Okay? Put your hand down. Once I'm done, you can uh, ask your question. And you can answer once I said if I, I want you to answer. When I say x subtract from 9, you all know that it should be 9 minus x. You're all familiar with that. And now, what if it's two operation? When it's two operation, the same way you did in the sum, you're going to do in the subtract. Once you see the word subtract, you're going to open the brackets. Subtract what? 60 from what? From all of this. And here is the sentence when it's over. So subtract, I need two numbers to be subtract. This is the first number and this is the second number. And because we use the word from, I need to start from here. And what is this number actually? It's 7M. So you're going to say 7M minus 60 here. Now let's move to the next one. One more time. 7m because 7 times n, which is 7m. Or from or switch the order. So 7m minus 60. Let's start with this one. 28 times. So this is the first number. Where is my second number? times y, okay, subtract from 3. So here you do have all of this subtract from, oh, let me change the color. If it's this one is a clear, let's use the green one. Subtract from what? Three. Now I said you can open the brackets when you see the word from. When I open the brackets, subtract. Here I don't have anything. So that's why here I didn't uh, draw the brackets. Okay? For right now, one more time. What will I do? 28 times y, all of this is a term. Then what did they say? Subtract from three. Yani when you say 28 times y, you're going to say 28 y. Continue with the second operation. What's the second operation? Minus. But because I have the word from, this will be my second number or my second term. So I will write three minus 28, okay? Before I move, do you have any question? Raise your hand. Yes, yeah, Masa, what's your question? Um, teacher, why, did we, why didn't we put 28 y? Why, why, why didn't we put um, 28 times y? Are they different, yeah, Masa? Answer me, are they different? Um, no. So, 
What's your question? Um, I didn't know that they were not different. Really? Masa, please focus more. I'm not going to say something else more than this. Jad, what's your question? Uh, Miss Hala, uh, uh, Jad, who I I subtract you. from? Lazim, you can subtract. Eh? What? No. Sometimes uh, I would write just subtract. لا لا شوفي مش نو سبتراكت فروم لازم سبتراكت ورا على طول لازم وراها فروم تيجي ولا عادي لو كان رقم بيناتهم لا ممكن يكون زي البريفيس اكزامبل زي 11 يعني زي انه 11. عشان زي سبتراكت 60 فروم فلما نشوف انه الرقم في نمبر بتوين ال6 بين سبتراكت فروم يو اوبن ذا براكت اف يو ديدنت سي ا نمبر بتوين سبتراكت اند اه انه عشان هيك بتصير 700 اوبن براكت اوكي Is it clear now? Oh, okay. Excellent oh, question, okay. Yajad. Thank you for it. Yes, yeah, Omar. Um, teacher, I didn't understand the third one. A uh, twelve. Yes. Hello, right now in a twelve, you need to follow the order. What they wrote, and if we start with times, do you have to write the brackets? No. Okay. So I'm going to clear everything. And I will start with the order. 28 times y, this is 28. Why? Isn't that clear? Yes. Now subtract means minus 3. But I ignored the word from. What does it do, the word from? Is my order correct? No. What should I do in this case? I switch them. Excellent. So you're going to switch to 3 minus 28. Why? Is it clear now why did I switch? Uh, okay, thank you. Welcome. Yes. Now, Hamad Fuad, what's your question? I didn't understand number 14. I didn't reach it yet, Ya Muhammad. Okay, wait a minute. Now, Let's start with 13 and 14. Now in 13, he's telling you subtract from, and I have a number between subtract and from, so I will open the brackets. This is the first term. From what? From 20. Then, why did I close? Because he used the word then, which means I'm done with the subtraction. But I'm not going to say k minus 20. I would say 20 minus k. Why? From will switch. So 20 minus k. Then multiply by it. And these are between the brackets. Hello, now because it's multiplication, I don't need to write the multiplication sign. And I do not write the 8 after the parentheses. I write it before the parentheses, right here. So it will be 8 times between the brackets 20 minus k. Now let's move to the last one. 2 thirds of x. What do I know about 2 thirds? 2 thirds, it's a fraction. What do I know about the word of? It means times. Times what? X is subtracted from. Subtracted alone minus. From what? Nine. But because I have the word from, I should switch. So it would be nine minus two third times X. But because it's multiplication, how do we multiply fraction? which we do numerator by numerator, or denominator by denominator. So two times x is actually what? Two x over three times one, three. This is how I came up with this conclusion. Now let's hear your question before I move to the next slide. What's your question, Yajad? Miss Hala. Uh, eight, any, uh, uh, no, uh, she Danny, no, eight, twenty, tah, any more lazim in no cake, kun abe, any eight, but then k, sah, la lazim, oh, eight, then you open the brackets, 
اه اوكي بس هو الاي يعني لازم يجي وراها الليتر ولا عادي نمبر او الليتر بركت يا بركت ليتر لا كود بي ليتر يا جاد ات ديبندز اون ذا اوردر اوف هير وات ديد اي منشن اه اوكي انه سم تايمز اي كان سي سبتراكت كي فروم 20 اند اذر تايمز اي وود سي لايك ذس نو وير وير از ات There are other examples that I write the the letter here, so it's totally fine. You can do whatever you want. Sorry, not whatever you want. Whatever the question requires. Okay. Zed, Kriya, what's your question? I forgot to my hand. Sorry. Okay. Muhammad Mansour. Um, teacher, I just wanted to make sure that when we open brackets, when there's two operation, right? One, right? Yes, miss. We only mention the brackets if we have two operation. That's why when I start my explanation, I didn't even mention the order of operation when we translate one operation. Did I mention it? Now let's continue to the next slide. Now, in the next slide, they are telling you subtract 60 from 7 divided by M. You need to start putting the, the, uh, uh, the parentheses. Subtract and from, they have a number between them, which means I will open brackets. This is the first number, 60. But from what? From all of this. Because the sentence ends here. So I will close the bracket. So what is seven divided by M? It's seven over M. Because he said 60 from this, you're going to say what? Seven over M minus what? Minus 60, as it's written here. Let me clear all the drawing. Now let's move to the next one, 16. 28 divided by Y, so this is a 28 divided by y. Subtract from what? From a 3. If it's subtract alone, you're going to say minus a 3. But because they said from, I will switch the order. I will say 3 minus 28 over y. We're done with this one. Let's move to the 17. Subtract k from 20. Because k is between subtract and from, I will open brackets. The first one is k. The second one is 20. Hello, why I didn't continue the sentence? Because he mentioned the word then. And if you have the word then or the word is, that means it's the end of the first operation. If you're going to close the operation right here. Because you have the word from, it will be 20. Minus k. And it's between the brackets. Then what should you do? Divide by it. So instead of writing it as a division, I will write it as a fraction. The last one. x divided by 5. So x divided by 5. Is, is what? This is the second operation. Subtract, that means minus. Minus what? Minus 9. But because I have from, what will I do? I will switch the order. So it will be 9 minus x over 5. Before I move to the course book, I want to hear your questions. And if you want to leave, you can leave. If you want to stay, you can stay. Now, Kais, what's your question? Teacher, I want to answer, sorry. Okay. Now, one more time, before I start with the course book, all of you bring your course book and put it in front of you. All of you bring your course book and put it in front of you. I will close the chat right now. You can all leave. If you don't want to listen to the course book questions, you can leave. 
I will close right now the chat and yes, with your notebooks to copy the answers. Your, co your course book in front of you and your notebook in front of you. The ones that they want to leave, they can leave. The ones that they want to stay, they can stay. Yes, yeah, Adnan, what's your question? Adnan, you can speak. Adnan, you raise your hand. Okay. Oh, yes, Adnan. Okay, now I will try to do this. Then I will share again. While I'm moving to in the next slides, all of you prepare your uh, course book and your notebook. Okay, let's start with the question number one. I'm going to pick randomly, so do not raise your hand. Now, from the one that are staying, Fayyad. Let's start with you, Fayyad. Question one. A, Evany has a bag that contains N counters. Write an expression for the total number of counters. Fayyad, where are you? Why did you uh, mute yourself again? Okay, you don't want to answer, it's totally fine. Raed. Yeah, Raed, what should you write? She has N container. She put in two more. What will you write? Mm. Did you open your book? I'm opening. Okay. Page 26, Raed. Yes. I have opened it now. Okay. Hello, question oh. one. He's telling you I have N containers. A number of containers is N, draw it. She okay. puts in two more. So what will you write? Um, N plus. N plus two. N plus two, excellent job, that's it. Now mute yourself, please, draw it. Okay. For the first one is N plus two. Now, next one, Ragad. Ragad. Okay. Yasmin Ababn, Ragad, we shall move, but we shall tell the permission. Yasmin Ababn, next one. She takes a three out. What will you write? Ababna, where are you? Tab, okay, miss. Raise your hand, and I'm going to pick the ones that they raise their hand. And by order. So once you raise your hand, do not raise it again. If you answer, do not raise it again. Yes, Ruth. B, what's the answer for um, it? N minus three. N minus three. Excellent job. So now. You do not raise your hand again. Masa, question 2A. Um, the temperature... The temperature on Tuesday was um, T degrees. Write an expression for the temperature when it, when it is. Um, A, 2 Celsius degrees higher than it was on Tuesday. Um, T plus 2. Excellent, T plus 2. Thank you very much. Teach Yes, yeah, Masa, what do you want? My notebook is about to, uh, like, finish. Okay, Miss, bring extra paper from other notebooks. I'm not going to oh. take it to check it, unfortunately. Okay. All right, now, next one. 
now Masa, do not raise your hand again. Hamad Mansour, B. Twice as warm. What will you write? Um, I write um, T times Q. And the other way? The other, the other is way is to write 2T. Two 2T, two 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 yes. Okay. Now, the next one, Martas, the question is three. Go to the next page. David has X DVDs. He buys six more. What will I write? Uh, um, X, blocks, uh, X plus six. Thank you very much. X plus six. Yes, I know, but now mute yourself, please. The next one, Rimas. Yes, teacher. Yes, the next one. Molly is M years old and Barney is B years old. What is the total of their ages? M plus B. Excellent job. Does it matter if I switch them? No. Excellent, thank you very much. And guys, by the way, we prefer to write them in alphabetical order. For that's why you're going to notice some of the question they write in a switch and they switch, they write B plus M. Okay. Now let's move to C, Omar Zaydan. Ted can store G photographs on one memory card. So each memory card will hold three. How many photographs he stores on three memory uh, cards? Sorry, he can record in each one of them G. G times three. Excellent job. G times three, or can I write three G? Yes. Yes, but we don't mean three G by net. So this one is three G. Now, question four. Jad. Jad. Jad, let me ask you to do it. Okay, Jad. Question four. Uh, four, yes, sorry, four. Maliha thinks of a number uh, X. Write an expression for the numbers Maliha gets when she multiplies the number by three. Mm -hmm. X times three equal three X. Excellent job, three X. And next one, Hassan. Hassan, yes, the next should. one. Um, yes, yes, multiply the number by four, then adds one. Uh huh. What would uh, I Four X uh -huh. plus one. Excellent job. Four X plus one. And I don't need to write in brackets because the order doesn't matter here. Sorry, because the uh, uh, order of operation doesn't matter. Multiplication will come first. You lay it. Raed. Type Qais. C. Divide, Divide the number by three. Uh, X divide by three. Or? Or three, uh, three X. No, or X over three. X over three. Uh -huh. Okay. Divide. So this is X over three. Thank you very much. Now. Bana, next one, D. It's going to be M. Um, divide the number by 2, then subtract 9. X divided by 2 equals 9, minus 9. No, X over 2 minus 9. We do not say equal 9. Okay? So X. it would be written like this. X over 2 minus 9. Thank you very much. Abdul Halim Ramahi. Question five. Abdul Halim. Even though you didn't raise your hand. 
Abdul Harim, question five. Question five. Mm -hmm. The cost of an adult adult ticket into a theme park in dollar in dollar. It's a dollar. And for the children, it's C dollar. So if it's adult, it will be A. If it's a child, it will be C. Write an expression for one adult and C. one child. What will you write? Write one adult, um, C and one child. A dollar. What will you write, Yani? What's the operation? A dollar plus uh, uh, C. Plus C, excellent job, thank you very much. So this one is A plus C dollar. Because both of them are dollar, I put the sign outside. Okay, now the next one. Let's talk, now raise your hand again. I don't have anyone raising his hand. Yasmin and Nazar. Yes, mean two adults and one child. If it's two adults, yes, mean that means how many A do you have? If they are two adults, yes, mean how many A do you have? Yes, mean. Okay. Now, Omar Zaydan. Omar, two adult and one child. What will you write? Um, two A. Uh huh. Excellent. Um, plus uh, okay. C. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Why did he say two A? Because I have two two adult. That means two A's, and only one C. Thank you. Now, Ais. Yes. See the last one. Four A. Uh huh. Excellent. And uh, and five C. What's between them? Uh, five. Between four them. A. Uh. Plus. Plus. Thank you very much. Excellent. So this will be 4A plus 5C. Now let's move to question six. In the question six, the explanation part, Ms. Hada, I'm going to tell you the brackets, which we did it. So we're going to skip it. So start from A. Yes, ya, uh, Jude. Use uh, bar, then multiply by three. What will you do? Um, you will um, n plus n plus five times. Yes. Are they between the brackets? Yeah. Are they between the brackets? Yes. yes. Then what do you do? Um. Then we multiply it by three. The brackets by three. Okay. But because we can use its multiplication, I can put it before the brackets. Oh, okay. Is it correct what I wrote? Yes. Thank you very much. Now, the next one. Yes, Yajad. Oh, okay. Next one, B. Uh, B, uh, uh, seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven uh, n oh n plus seven in brackets. Uh huh. Uh, over four. Excellent job. Over four. لا. Uh, لا. شو, uh, n plus over four. Don't brackets. Oh yes, come on, correct. So this one will be n plus seven over four. Now Martaz. مس غيرهم يرفعوا ايديهم الباقيين ليه ما عم ترفع ايدكم؟ معتز سي ناو معتز سي اها ان ماينس 2 ديفايد باي 
What will I put between the brackets? You didn't mention that. Uh, yes, I put between brackets. What will you put between the brackets? N minus 2. N minus 2. And if I didn't I want to put the division, I want to write as a fraction. What will I write? Um, N minus 2 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Now, Masa. Yes, teacher. The last one, D. Multiplies by. I will a do. Um, Multiply by. N, N minus 9. Between the brackets. Multiply by what? Multi uh, multiply by 8. By 8. Okay, now we're going to move to question seven. We are over the list. ممكن هلا بأي لحظة ميسي سكر. فإذا it's closed, it's not from me. It's from the system because we we exceed the one hour. Now the last question, question seven. You need to match, and I give the answer for it. For right now, who can tell me which one of them is A? Multiply n by three and subtract two. Remas. Yes. A is what? Two minus three n. Is it? Multiply n by three. It will be three n. And subtract from two, so it will be two minus three n. Which one of them is two minus three n? I, I, I. Thank you very much. So this one is triple I. Now, B. Uh, B, Mansour. B? Yes. B, add the two, then multiply by three. It, <clears throat> it is um, uh, V. The, it is V, excellent job. So this one is V. That's the next one. Uh, Yasmin and Nazar. Next one, C. Multiply n by 3 and subtract 2. Uh huh. Here we don't have a from, so we don't need to change order. So multiply n by 3, it's a 3n minus 2. Which one of them is a 3n minus 2? It's IV. Now, let's go to uh, Jude or Rimas. Rimas D. Multiply N by 3. So, what will it be? Multiply N by 3. I. I. Excellent. 3N plus 2. So, this one is I. Now, and next one, uh, Qais. Yes. The next one, E. Add two and N, then divide by three. Which one of them? Okay. It's... Miss Awal is she two plus N? Uh-huh. Two plus N, and... Uh... N over three. Oh, N over three. So which one of them is it? VII. Excellent job, VII. So this one is VII. Now, uh, the last one. Can you give me the answer right away, Amatas? What's the answer for F? Huh? Uh, divide M. Give uh, me the answer. Uh, I, I. I, I. Thank you very much. Now, he's telling you that one of them, we didn't use it. Which one of them, we didn't use it? Look, I, double I, triple I. But I, V, then V. 
But did I use VI? So VI, we didn't use it. Yeah. And no. can I write an expression for it? I can say divide n by three and subtract from two. In this case, we end our lesson. Thank you very much for your attending. And I will send for you the link so that if you want to see it again, you can look at it. And we're going to end the meeting right now. If you want, you can leave. Thank you again for listening. Next time, we're going to have the online quiz.